And it's just like, you guys just, just dominate teams seemingly. Is that how you guys view the games? Is that the purpose? Because you guys get up two scores and it's like the other team has zero chance with the way you play ball. Why is it that way with the way your team is constructed from behind the scenes? I think it starts with the players. Uh, we're a player-led team. Honestly, it's been awesome being around a leader like Lamar Jackson on the offensive side and Roquan Smith on the defense. Those are two leaders of our team. They've done an amazing, go amazing job uh, pu putting their uh, voice out there to say, we're not just trying to win, we're trying to dominate and stay locked in. Uh, you've heard Lamar say that over the course of the season. Uh, he means he means it and he means business. And that's kind of our attitude right now. You saw the coaches and the players excited after this last game. Uh, and, you know, it kind of went viral a little bit, but it was like, enjoy that minute of celebration. <laughs> and then right after that, it's stay locked in and on to the next. Like we're focused on uh, this next game and we're excited for the opportunity to play the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, what? What a story it's going to be. That's a new America's team. And, uh, you know, if we got to play the villain, we got to play the villain. I don't know if you're the villain against Kansas City Chiefs. Uh, if you guys want to tell yourselves that to motivate yourselves, go ahead and do it. There's a lot of people excited for Taylor Swift <laughs> and uh, Travis and Pat to maybe not make uh -huh. it to the Super Bowl. Uh -huh. But I will say, watching your locker room and John Harbaugh, who he very rarely gets talked about as one of the great coaches in the NFL. Everybody else's name seems to get uttered, but he's been there for a long time, won a Super Super Bowl there through numerous eras and obviously number one seed here in 2024. What is it about Harbaugh or maybe the Harbaugh's you think from getting a chance to experience that creates good ball clubs? Why do you think the Harbaugh's are so successful at coaching? More specifically, I guess, John, because that's who you are playing for currently. I think it starts with their family motto. Who's got it better than us? Nobody. I think it starts right there. That's their motto. That's their attitude. They really believe and know that nobody's got it better than they do they know how blessed they are they you know are a firm believer in the man upstairs they do all the right things the right way and it's awesome to be a part of uh, a harbaugh story uh they've done he's done an awesome job to have the whole family there to get to introduce myself to all of them it was awesome and just that whole vibe of the family is just amazing they're a football family they eat, breathe, sleep football, and it's awesome to be a part of. And dancing. I mean, he, you know, oh, yeah. he's vibing. <laughs> yeah. He was vibing there. He was. Who's he the, was vibing. Who's the bald white that starts that whole thing off? Who's that, And is that a normal, is this a tradition in the in your guys' locker room that we haven't seen, or is this first time? Yeah, that was kind of a bet that uh, Coach G, he lost. Uh, Godsey, uh, he he lost, and so Harbaugh called his ass out and was like, you got to, you got to, your bet's a bet. And so uh, I don't think he wants to ever do that again. So I think he lost that bet pretty good. And, you know, honestly, <laughs> it was about it, it, I, I hope he doesn't ever do it again. It was a good 30 <laughs> seconds. You know, it was awesome. I think he did his thing. But, I, Pat, I just want to, like, reiterate. I know it's kind of annoying is, like, just how locked in this group is. And I, and I mean it, like. Guys are laser focused on winning, and you can see it by every time you turn on the TV. The these du these dudes, including myself, have chips on our shoulder, and we're hungry, and we know we got a we got the Chiefs, and they're not a easy task. They're a really good football team playing the best, uh, the their their best at the when it matters the most, the postseason. The last two weeks, I mean, the whole season, everybody's kind of wrote them off a little bit. But these last two seasons, they've played really complimentary football with their offensive ste stepping up and their defense coming along like they have all season. Yeah, so they wrote off the Chiefs, and nobody talked about you guys. Mm -hmm. And now you're in the AFC Championship together. Can't wait to see it. Go ahead, AJ. Kyle, where were you uh, at halftime when Lamar kind of rallied the troops? He talked. He didn't. He said he couldn't really get into specifics exactly what he said. But what was like the sentiment of what he was uh, expressing to you guys? I was sitting down in my locker like, oh shit! <laughs> I was it. Hey, it was pretty. It was pretty animated, huh? No, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make it bigger than what it is. Okay. It, was, it wasn't. I think obviously in the media we like to make things a little bit bigger than it was. I Bingo! Think it was more, Give us I something. Think, yeah, yeah. I think it was more of him. You know, 
and where he's at as a player. Like, I feel like he has been kind of, you know, the lead by example. And I think he's matured over his course of his career to finally be like, all right, enough's enough. This is my opportunity to say something. Let's do it. And I think he voiced his opinion and it was felt and it was proved on the football field in the second half. I mean, come out of the gates and they score a touchdown to start the half. And he's like, damn right. Like we locked in, stay locked in. So, uh, you know, being from Broward County myself is, it's an amazing thing. Crew. Right. But Crew. Hey, hey, South Florida, Florida had a question I'm from D-Butt yeah. actually. Yeah. Go ahead. D-Butt. Yeah. That, uh, that bye week, man, uh, we saw the Niners get off and be a little rusty and not, I guess, play their best football. Uh, offensively. I think you guys kind of the same thing, but defensively, I feel like you guys were locked in from the jump. What was that bye week prep like with Mike McDaniel? It was a bunch of walkthroughs, a bunch of practice. Like, what was it like? And how are you guys so sound on that defensive side of the ball? Our asses were practicing, D, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it, it, was, it was intense practices. We did a lot of one-on-ones, which was really good, competitive, a lot of trash talking, which was good to keep – keep that mindset right you know I want to talk a little bit about the offense you know I don't think they were they started as fast as they wanted I mean you guys are saying start fast but scoring 10 points I still feel like you know that it's not great it's not bad I think it was more of how uh, Texans I think they blitzed on 80 percent of their plays in the first half mm. and I think the adjustments that Co- Co- Coach Mockin and Lamar had by yep. having a little bit of shorter passes, the run game opening a little bit more, um, feeding off of each other, you know, a couple uh, misdirection plays, a little, you know, a couple running the quarterback a little bit more, open it up. And I think that's just a testament of Lamar and his um, maturing as, as well as Todd at seeing the game for what it was in the first half and being really good and adjusting. And then our defense can, can still, can uh, still playing grimy. I mean, this group is a grimy savage group uh, that's ready to go at any point. You got two all pro middle linebackers that are playing elite football Mm. that are putting the middle linebacker back on the map after, you know, kind of, getting pushed down to devalued, but they're putting more value, more value every time they, those two step on the football field. Look at Keith Van Noy with a big time Ooh. stop right there. Ooh. Getting grimy. Right. We got we got we gotta talk about this. Where where did Keith come up? It's not I, I don't care. I think you know pro I football care. talks yeah. Keith Van Noy has yeah. been Florio. active active, yeah, pro Thanks. Florio. <laughs> Flores did that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's his name? What's his name? Flores. 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 No, it's Flores. Yeah, it's Flores. Just like Lombo, we got Lombo. We got Flores. We got them all, man. Yeah, we got to kick them. Hey, Lom- Lombo. Lombo's got to be shaking in his boots. He said I couldn't. Ru- <laughs> he, he said I couldn't rush. I love Lombo. I think I proved I can be a four man rusher now. Hey, well, congrats. Hey, congrats on proving Lombo wrong. Yeah, right. suck it, Lombo. Yeah. Suck it, Lombo. You yeah. stupid. <laughs> suck it. No, no, no. We ain't going to go there. No, we will. We will. Not you. Those good people. Here, take Kyle off the screen. Take Kyle off the screen just so he's in such a... Say suck it, Lombo! Lombo, 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 no shit! All right, put Keith back up there. All right. uh, Okay, hey, so we talked about Munkin and Lamar making the adjustments. Uh, let's talk about McDonald because yeah. his name's Ooh, getting, wee, man. his name's getting mentioned now for like jobs and conversations. What is it about? I don't think any of us really know anything about him. So he was with the Ravens, I think his assistant goes to Michigan, D coordinator, comes back to Baltimore, and I think a lot of the older coaches like super young guy. How's he gonna? You guys flat out just ball. Now you got playmakers everywhere, but there's only four teams left. Everybody has playmakers everywhere. What is it about him? He seems to be a young guy that that gets it. What is it about his scheme and him that makes you guys play so well? Yeah, Coach Mack leads an awesome coaching group. I mean, obviously it starts with Harbaugh, but then Coach Mack, uh, D. Will, secondary coach, Z.O., linebackers coach, Coach Weave. Uh, as Great uh, nicknames across as well. the board. Wow. Yeah, Coach Weave. Mack, and then you got oh, our Weave. guy Chuck. So we got a lot of guys in that coach's room that should get a lot of looks. They've done a really, really good job. Coach Mack, I mean, he's putting on clinics of – calling games and honestly he's just done a really good job galvanizing this group each week to buy into down after down after down and then to play harder than anybody else i mean that's what we're standing on 
the Ravens, we play harder and it's noticeable on TV. You watch this group fly around to the football, violent. We talk about violence, not talking about hitting. We're talking about violence. And them boys <laughs> everybody are violent everybody, to the football. Yeah. That's what Darius's big 11. takeaway. That was Darius's big takeaway this morning about the Ravens team. He was like, you know, sometimes with the weather, you see some people that maybe aren't trying to make contact with anybody. Everybody on the Ravens defense is trying to hurt somebody on every single play. <laughs> Feels like that's the case. I'm happy to hear that that's a mindset you guys have written on the wall, seemingly. Violence. Yeah, we we can't we can't put it on walls. We can't say hurt, but we just talk about being violent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, the old days. Yeah. The old you days. Get it. That thing would be yeah. right across the board. Now, what yeah. another thing that you can see and feel on TV is that home field advantage. Go ahead, Ty. Yeah, Kyle. Pat has said this for a long time about how you know people who maybe haven't played there or like fans who've never been to a game there, like the home field advantage in Baltimore is very real and very kind of underrated. Not not really talked about as much. Obviously, you're no stranger to playing home games in the playoffs all those years in New England, too. But what is that home field advantage really like in Baltimore? And when you guys get up like you did on Saturday, like how, how much does that come into play when the fans are going crazy? And then obviously you have another one uh, this, this upcoming week against the Chiefs. Yeah, the Ravens flock. They really bring it all game long the bank was packed the bank was rocking i mean you saw those delay of games you saw the false start the pre penalties though it's a real thing um that's what is awesome about playing in an atmosphere like the bank it's one of one uh it's kind of sad that it's underrated but i believe you know they have an opportunity this weekend to really you know put themselves on the map by showcasing how loud they can be and excited to play in front of a fan group like we have. You know, the Baltimore City, you know, is tough, rugged, uh, get, it, get it out the mud type of attitude group. Uh, and, you know, we're excited to put on for this city, put on for the fans. They do an amazing job. I mean, you guys got to tune in to the national anthem because they'll, they'll say, oh, in that uh, Star Spangled Banner, they say, oh, louder than – it's the loudest – in the in the whole business and it's amazing oh, to play in front of a fan nice. group. In it's the awesome. Home of the Chief. Oh, oh. oh you're there talking go. Oh, you're talking about the O oh, say can you see they dropped the O oh there. Yeah. That's for the Orioles. There I think. You go. How is or Orioles good at baseball? Yeah, not bad. Not up last year, up. Yeah. Right, let's go. Hey, Pat, you, you got a good singing, bro. You guys got a good little singing group over there. Hey, we try, you know, and then we'll get canceled. And then sometimes we sound <laughs> so good, we get a strike. Yeah. And then That's uh, the we got to stay away from it. Yeah, so we're that talented over here. We're that talented. Should hear our happy birthday. Yeah, well. <laughs> Pretty good. I bet AJ. I bet AJ's got a good ass oh, karaoke man. song. I already know. Yeah. I could. I you could feel it. You want to show us a little something, AJ? Huh? For the boys? I don't think so. Karaoke is. It's not really. Uh, <laughs> I'm not an elite performer at karaoke, but I'm, I'll try. I'll try to get better at it. What is the song that you go to? What song of choice? Something. Something that everyone can sing along to. Obviously, don't sing some stupid long ballad that you want to show <laughs> off your own voice. So Agreed. down with the sickness. Yeah. Agree. We don't. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, let AJ. the bodies hit the, the floor. floor. Let the body. <laughs> Bodies hit the floor. Could you imagine AJ going oh, to the middle and carrying yeah, that? Exactly. One, nothing's wrong with me. <laughs> Two, <laughs> three. No. I see, I, see AJ, I see AJ doing a little Kodak Black. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah. I so. Yeah. so we saw a I'm video a actually of Zay Flowers doing some Kodak mm -hmm. Black from training camp mm -hmm. uh, in like a team conference. I don't know. And then we yeah, saw. A video. I don't know either. I was I was hanging with you, bro. Yeah, you were right here. <laughs> you were right here. But then I saw a video from the practice facility of the guys putting together their starting five on a basketball team. And Lamar goes last, and somebody throws something on him, he dodges it, and then he quote tweets the video, and he goes, before I was rudely interrupted, he puts it, feels like this team is very – now, granted, there's only four teams left. Everybody's going to be tight. But it feels like since the beginning of the season, everybody knows this is Lamar's team. It feels like Lamar is one of the guys – it feels like your team is very, very, very tight. Why is that? And is that a good observation that the entire squad is really together more? And it, does it reminisce about any other teams you've been on before? <laughs> I get sports. that question. I get that question a lot. Um, I don't. I, I won't compare. I, I put every team I've been on in their own category. This one is special, though. This one's led by, like I said earlier, player ran 
Uh, this group is very close. They have an amazing core. I mean, think about their core. Is just they're young and good. I mean, from Kyle Hamilton, who's 22, to Roquan, who's 26, to t- Tyler Lindenbaum, who's Hell what yeah. 22, 23. He's Jeez. a dog. Come on, let's say it with me. One, two, three, dog. 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 There we go. Little, little, little miss by there because of the camera and all that. All good. Well, the setup's not great. You know, You're in football season. Yeah, well, you'll, yeah. yeah you'll get yeah. back to host season. Yeah. yeah, you'll get in the host season. And then, and then we have Lamar, who you know is still 27 years old. So they have such a young nucleus. And then Zay Flowers, can't forget about him. So their nucleus is so young and so awesome. I'm just happy to be a part of the organization, to be a part of this young crew uh, that's looking to win and just locked in, ready to go, focused up to win. The team who has won a lot as of late. Tone has a question for you about him. Yeah, Kyle, Mahomes is notoriously hard to get on the ground. Now, you've probably faced him more than the other guys being with the Chargers uh, against him last year, a couple games. Will you be sharing any information, or what's the approach to just getting to Mahomes and bother him? Yeah, I, it's always tough to get after Mahomes, you know, but it, it's really a – it's not a simple answer. It, it's going to take a scheme. It's going to take all 11 of guys buying into that scheme and doing it play after play after play. Mahomes is an incredible talent. There's nobody like him. And I'm just excited for this task as a group to go in. What What a better way to be – and the ASC championship in the bank at home, good weather uh, against the champions. I mean, ooh, ooh. I say I'm excited. Hell Let's yeah! Go. Hey, what year is this Let's for you? Go. What year is this for you? Ten. Ten. This will be my fourth ASC championship in ten years. I'm very, very pumped about that. Excited. Let's get it. Hey, you done good. Thank you so much for making time for us on this day. 